We took our 20 year old little mare to her very first ever horse show. This is the first time she's ever been completely away from all of her friends. And we were so surprised at how quiet and happy she was. But how would she do at the horse show? That was the question. Let's get into it. So we had to swim to another boat. And then we got away and yeah. then the boat. Uh oh, Judge is coming over. And you've already done your setup, so I saw that. Okay, thank you. Would you do You can bring them. Go up a bit more, so. So she, so she parked in the wrong spot, but that's okay. She said that she already saw her set up. So she looks super relaxed in there. She looks really cute. I'm proud of you, Willow. You proud of you, Sophie. Your body a hundred feet away, breathe out and breathe in and be brave. Positive thinking. So Willow's standing there, so good and quiet, even though she's in a field with a bunch of different horses she's never met, never been to a show. She is, you get lots of cookies today, Willow. Still standing square. All right, her turn's next. She said it was a good class that all the horses presented really well. So in fifth place we have 231. You're 245. And in fourth place we have 245. Fourth place, yay! Good job, Willow. All right, awesome. Good job, everybody. You can just hang on the back of our chair, maybe. Brooklyn, can I put this on the back of your chair? Yeah. All right, that was really fun. Really good for your first show, Willow. And I'm so impressed with her attitude. Like, she has no cares in the world. Okay, this is showmanship. You can say at least I tried With the first step She's not setting her up good, but that's okay. This is just practice. Uh-oh, she's antsy. <sighs> Sophie's the kind of person that's like, yeah, this isn't going well. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Willow's like, look at this side. This is my better side. <laughs> She's got something hanging from her face. Oh, good job, Sophie. That was really good. Like, it takes. It takes nerve to go out there and try something you've never done before. Peewee <laughs> hanging from her mouth. It's done. We're done. So just a couple more people have to go and then we're going home. It's like 10.30. 10 o'clock. Not even 10 o'clock. We'll be leaving by 10.15. Gabby's having breakfast. <laughs> and Jacob. I hear Jacob over there. 
There's Sophie over there. That was really fun. That was worth it, you guys. Third place goes to number 225. Second place goes to... And first place goes to 231. Woohoo! Good job, everybody. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, it is. Good job, Sophie. Did you back up? I just put it on okay. the fence there. I couldn't remember. You did back up? Okay. That was awesome. It was in there the whole time. Yeah. So we're like, Sophie! Oh, oh, is it still in there? It's still there. She had hay. She's like, I'm taking something for the ride. That's okay. But you did really good. Were you, were you happy? Three of things came out. Yeah. All right. Good for our first show. Good for our first show. All right. I'm torture her with it now. I loved it. It was worth it. You get a treat now, Willow. All right, let's go back. Here, take your ribbons. I'm going to take a picture. You guys both wore pink today. All right, we are done. That was really good. Did you find it easy or did you find it stressful? Yeah, the second course was stressful. Yeah, I saw a lot of them have had trouble with the pivots. Let this be a warning to people. If you use an oil-based product, on, a la on hair and then put elastics in, the elastics just snap right out. <laughs> so, you can just, so oh, you can't. So don't do it if you want the elastics to stay in, but if you want the elastics to just break so easy. No, wood cleaner makes them break. Yeah, Gabby <laughs> put wood cleaner in Sophie's hair, like that orange wood cleaner. Ah, see, that, that was the one that I sprayed with the stuff in the fly spray bottle. Oh. Well, not, not the stuff that he is using. I had these. That was fun. It's just starting to rain now, so we're getting home before the rain. So I was so impressed with the fact that she was calm. She doesn't have another friend here. She's never been like to a show by herself with another friend. She's been off property with us before, really but not. Hmm? You don't break that easily. But, but never without her friends. And she's so something she did have trouble with was a stranger walking behind her bum. I saw a lot of them were antsy about that when the judge was like, Yeah, I was like, Yes, be antsy when they were doing it because then it was better for me. Yeah, because a lot of them were being antsy, they were like moving around and stuff whenever the judge was walking around. I can't wait to wait, watch it back again because I told Jen that this is the kind of show that her and I are going to do with our horses. Yeah, they need their number back. We should have brought Gracie for you. We need to get, we need to talk ahead of the time, ahead of time, plan things out. Do you want to go into Violet? Sure. <laughs> She's like, yes, that's the only reason I came. This is like as big as her nose. <laughs> Good pony, let's go get into Violet. Good job, Good Willow. The daydream every day as I'm getting older. We are home and the skies are looking fierce. What are you doing in there? Come on. That's so weird. Daisy won't come in here. Come on. Raleigh. Come on, Daisy. Come on. I wonder if she's like extra sensitive about the not being able to hear because I literally just walked beside her and she's been Anyway, what I wanted to say was that he has been walking around so much more than ever before. I've been doing doing so much research. He looks awful. I've been doing so much research and we have like a whole protocol that we have to do with the antibiotics so that he can recover. Like the muscle wasting is from low vitamin E. Uh, Lyme disease does awful things to your vitamin E levels. Oh, Daisy and Willow. All right, he's doing good. He, he hasn't wanted to be outside for a while. So, oh man, it's, it's, it's been rough, like so rough, but I'm actually like, Sam and I and Gabby are shocked at how much of a change there's been in him. Anyway, uh, that is it. I just, I always check on Chino a few times a day, but today, but every day I say when Sam does morning chores and Gabby does her walk around with him, I say, how's Chino? And they say the same. And then this morning I said, how's Chino? And Sam said, good. And I said to Gabby, how's Chino when she did her morning walk around? And she said, he's good. She took him for a really long walk down the trail. It's just nice to see him doing better. He still looks awful, but I can see a brightness in his eyes. I can see an alertness in him. And I can see him 
wanting to move around more. Don't you know that you're beautiful?